When getting weather forecasts, we often hear about air pressure, which refers to the weight of the air in the atmosphere above us. When we stand at sea level on the Earth's surface, we are actually standing at the base of an atmospheric column of air that extends up for about 300 miles, which is where the atmosphere finally fades into space. This newspaper weather map shows H representing an area with high pressure and L for an area with low pressure. What causes an air mass to be high pressure or low? Air pressure is determined by three main factors, elevation, temperature, and water vapor. As elevation increases, there is less air pressure because the higher we go, the less atmosphere exists above us. The people in this plane are flying higher than 30,000 feet, an altitude where the air pressure is very low. How do you think the passengers survive at such a high altitude? The passengers survive because the plane's cabin is pressurized to compensate for the low air pressure outside. Temperature is another factor in determining air pressure. Generally, as the temperature becomes higher, the air becomes less dense. In areas like this rainforest near the equator, under high temperatures, the air becomes heated, less dense, and rises, causing a drop in the area's air pressure. Water vapor also plays a part in air pressure. This is because warmer air holds more water vapor than cooler air. And as vapor is absorbed by warm air, the air becomes less dense and exerts less pressure than dry air. To measure air pressure, we use a barometer. One type is the mercury barometer. Here, air pressure on liquid mercury in a dish supports a column of mercury in a tube. If air pressure falls, the mercury column drops. And if air pressure increases, the column of mercury goes up. More commonly used today is the aneroid barometer, an airtight box where changes in air pressure cause a needle to move across a dial showing different pressure levels. Keeping in mind the factors we've studied, air pressure can help us predict the weather. From what we've discussed, what kind of weather do you think high pressure often means? High air pressure often means clear or fair weather. Because when large masses of air in the upper atmosphere come together, the air presses down on the lower column of air, preventing warm, moist air from rising into the atmosphere. Under these conditions, clouds do not form. So high pressure often means clear, fair weather. With low pressure, the opposite occurs. When air masses move apart in the upper atmosphere, clouds begin to form as the warm surface air, heavy with moisture, begins to rise. Usually, such low pressure masses of air are signs of cloudy weather and possible precipitation. Thus, high pressure often means clear weather and low pressure, cloudy conditions with possible precipitation.